High Lake Grove family, Pastor Lillian here. I am leading our devotion today, and according to our 365 reading, we're on day 124. That's 1 Samuel chapter 21, verse 1 to 9, if you're reading along in your own Bible. And if you haven't had a chance to read it yet, press pause now and come back and join us when you're ready. Story 124 is entitled, Food and Sword. David escapes from the clutches of King Saul, who is determined to kill him. So with nowhere to go, David decides a safe place is the shrine of God in the town of Nob. David does not know whether the people of Nob know about King Saul's warrant for his life, but when he arrives, Ahimelech is visibly surprised. In fact, the NIV uses the word trembled. Ahimelech trembled when he saw David show up alone. Seeing this, David chooses deception for the sake of self-preservation over integrity. He tells Ahimelech he's on a special mission from the king, and his men are waiting for him nearby. It was a harmless lie, wasn't it? If David could calm Ahimelech and procure supplies, bread for food and a sword for protection, he'd have gotten what he'd come for then at least in that moment, his primary task, which was self-preservation, was secured. But at what cost? Is there ever a time when we can compromise our integrity and it be free from consequence? Well, what if my life depended on it? Or what if it meant my personal safety? Well, of course, God wants us to stay safe and stay healthy. But should we compromise our integrity to do so? This account of David gives us a clear no, absolutely not. And this is a difficult and challenging passage because it tells us that when we choose deception for the sake of self-preservation over integrity, there is always a cost. Now, in our society, we are very familiar and, dare I say, even comfortable with lying and deception. We don't like calling it that, of course. Instead, we use terms like, oh, white lie, a half-truth, a slight stretch, and even an exaggeration. But when David chose deception to protect himself, it came at a great cost we find out exactly how costly in tomorrow's reading. So please read along with us. Now for today, I leave you with this charge. Have courage and be willing to find your strength in the Lord to live a life of integrity. Please allow me to close in prayer from Proverbs chapter 30. It says this, O Lord God, keep falsehood and lies far from us. Give us neither poverty nor riches, but give us only our daily bread. Otherwise, we may have too much and disown you and say, Who is the Lord? Or we may become poor and steal and so dishonor the name of my God. We bring these to you, our gracious God.